Back to the world of business where 3D printing stocks are really on fire at the moment. 3D system stock prices nearly doubled since the start of the year and Stratasys reported earnings yesterday that beat expectations. That stock is up almost 50% so far this year. Is this an industry just getting started or is this a whole lot of hype? Well, joining us from Doherty and Company is Andrea James and from Morningstar, Dan Holland. Andrea, I believe you recently upgraded Stratasys to a buy. It's already had a good run. Why are you a believer? Um, you know, the 3D printing industry is about 25 years old, um, but we've seen a lot of changes in the last few years that has made the growth accelerate. First of all, Stratasys is playing now in the consumer market um, in a big way with their recent acquisition of MakerBot. And also there's more of a migration to using 3D printers to make end use parts on the high end systems. Those are the systems, um, $100,000, $200,000. And um, there's growing use of them in the um, automotive and aerospace and other industrial markets. All right, Daniel, you're more bearish on Stratasys, but it's important to note that you are not bearish on the industry, one that we have talked about and I've said may change the world. It's just that you think the stocks are a little bit too hot. Why? That's right. I mean, I think right now when you look at the stocks, there's a lot of optimism and hope really baked into the share price. Um, it's very easy to get excited about an industry that's growing at such a rapid clip, but at the same time, you can't really put those off into the future. Or you can't forecast those into the future. Right now, at least by my expectations or by, by my estimates, um, current share prices reflect pretty much a 20% you know, plus consumer penetration rate you know, in, in 10 years. And that's pretty aggressive just considering how expensive the technology is and even more so that the actual applications and things that you can use uh, the technology for is pretty, um, is pretty limited at the moment. That said, um, on the industrial side, uh, as Andrea had mentioned, there are a lot of really good applications and things that, that can be used. And, and Dan, I mean, I, I get your point that in terms of the consumer market, obviously it's pretty expensive, right? I mean, what is it, $1,000 right. to $3,000? For a consumer, it might be kind of niche and maybe only the hobbyists are interested in that area right now. But I believe that uh, HP CEO Meg Whitman said last month that HP is going to get into the 3D printer market next year. Might that make it more mass market, bring down the price, just speed up the consumer growth? growth even more. Absolutely, it, it might do that, but at the same point, you're bringing down price, which doesn't necessarily help the, the revenue line for these companies. And so there's a, a really delicate balance that you have to think about when you try and expand the installed base, but at the same time, think about you know uh, what the actual profitability is for these units that are going out the door. And so, I mean, at one point you want to say, well, the industry is getting really big, but can you profit from that? Well, it's a good question. Listen, Andrew, we kind of cut you short on time there. My apologies. We will have you back on. You can blame me completely. Everybody else does, and I would certainly do it too. Andrew, <laughs> we'll get you back on. Dan, thank you as well. Appreciate More it. Good come. discussion. Thank you. Take care. Still ahead, an all-out fast food.